Hello travelers! I am Lorkeen, your traveler's guide to Tyria. Before taking a break for the annual Mad King's return, we visited the five Hylek tribes of Kaladin Forest and the lovely Quaggans at Sagersort. Although they have very different lifestyles, both cultures have a lot of headaches with the crates in the area. And they are not the only ones. The Lion Guards even named the first fortification on this map Cratebane Haven. This place is affectionately called the armpit of Lion Guard Havens in the worst haven in Tyria because it's hot, humid, and they constantly lose people to the Crate Enslavers Deeps, or to the undead who bubble up from a small inlet in Tree March Estuary. So it's no surprise Lion Guard Mick will snap at anyone who would ask too many questions. Oh, and if you get yourself killed in this area, the paperwork alone would destroy the last of his will to live. It's funny. I grew up in Radisson, but I think of Lion's Arch as my home. My mom always said home is where you've invested all your money. You can assist Lion Guard Hester in freeing the people that the crate has taken as slaves in the slavers' deeps. There, at the bottom of the bay, we can find a dark stone altar where the crate sacrificed their captive in rituals designed to appease the crate prophet who they believe will return with a new army to dominate Tyria from its depths to its shores. Channeling the energies here can give you a hero point or, if you have superior rune of scavenging in your inventory, you can create Seal of the Oritus for the Treasure Hunter collection. And Oritus is a great priest and leader. I find the Silvari difficult to handle in business dealings. Why is that? They seem simple, but have a depth that I can't penetrate. And yet, I feel completely transparent around them. Under a bridge from the haven we find Irina, a Silvari dreaming of becoming a chef in Lion's Arch when she gets good enough. That might take a while, judging by the smell of the plants she's collecting. Not much is happening in the woods north of the haven, except a lot of salads. Lettuce. I mean lettuce. Speaking of, the presence of the Haven allowed the hamlet of Anwen to develop into a settlement. Arid was the first Silvari to move to this place, back when the Haven was just a watchport. He came here hoping for peace to find his own path, without influence. Arid doesn't want to adhere to the soundless lifestyle, he just wanted to be sure anything he did was for his own reason. But then Silvari started to move here and he warned them about the Morgat tribe. He knew the Hylek would attack eventually as they are vicious and territorial, but nobody would listen. Now when the village is attacked, the wardens evacuate everyone and Herod has to host them in his hut. As you can imagine, he's not very happy about it. But you can help the wardens protect the hamlet, if not for Herod's sake, at least for the other of the fascinating people living here. Dresdai's just won a game of Seeking Stones, a game designed to help the saplings explore the grove. Whoever finds the prettiest stone wins. Industrier is still bewildered by the volatile nature of people. One of his dear friends, who woke up on the same day as him, was just banished for attacking a sapling. Industrier really thought his friend to be a gentle soul. Helenia used to love the Hylek before they started attacking the village. She thinks no one owns the land, especially not me and old toads. It belongs to all of them. Besides, Silvari are nice. It's not like humans are char moved in or something. Urkel finds the concept of family unit fascinating, but he is not sure of its purpose. He just spends time with those whose company he enjoys, loves those who have earned his love and lives with those whom he tolerates well, while avoiding those he dislikes. It's quite simple. Urkel is certainly a dreamer and an artist, to his companion's annoyance. Awuna is tired of doing everything herself, she even wrote up a list of duties for him. But all Urk wants to do is compose poetry about birds flitting about in the trees. At least their hut has an uncommon skin. Yuan is annoyed that someone he dislikes just returned from a wild hunt and is being treated as a hero. His deeds may have been honorable, but he is still rude. Do you get a strange vibe around other races? What do you mean? I don't know. I always get hungry when I'm near the Haven. I start craving meat. Valiant Sana and her wild hunt Valiant friends are looking for companions to patrol the Tree March estuary, on the lookout for abominations and burning any sign of undead. A 
And as this is not enough, this forest is full of trolls too, and Lion Guard Cern is trying to safeguard the Lion Road here, and you can help him by lighting up torches and killing mosquitoes and trolls. The troll chieftain keeps attacking merchant caravans, like the one belonging to Remy and Trundle. Good riddance! I'm glad that filthy beast is finally dead! Calm down, Trundle. Keeping spite for the dead doesn't help anyone. Oh, I'll take my spite to the grave, thank you very much. It killed my favorite bull! This is gonna be a long, hard trip, now isn't it? You were the one who decided to take a break! If you help them out, Remy will sell you a bottle of Remy Trundle Lager for the Brewmaster Collection. They say, on a clear day, you can see all the way to Twilight Arbor from up in this tower. Has there ever been a clear day in the Witchmere Swamp? Not in the five years I've been here. Passing by this Lion Guard waystation, we arrive in the most dangerous part of the map. On one side they have Willowwalk Groves, a place where fire imps swarm and try to set the moss hearts on fire. And on the other side, we have Witchmire Swamp, a place soaked in a powerful darkness. At the Nightmare's Camp, Banshee's Keen, the darkness is so strong you can call into it, and a Knight of Sorrows and her attendants will answer. Killing them will give you a hero point. This camp is protecting the entry to the Nightmare Court's headquarters, the Twilight Arbor, a place that stands in contrast to the Pale Tree in the Beautiful Grove, a dungeon full of secrets and dangers. I highly recommend going there only in a friendly company. I know these settlements are important, but why must we live in a swamp? All of the land needs stewardship, not just the forests and lakes. <laughs> in the dream, this place didn't smell so sour. The warden station at Phileas Thorpe are working hard to clean the swamp from the nightmare's influence, by killing the courtiers and their hounds, freeing their prisoners, smashing corrupted plants and destroying nightmare thorns. If you help them, Lewin will share with you, among other things, even the recipe for Warden Ration, which turns out to be just some tomatoes and lettuce, with a little bit of dressing. But lately the wildlife in this swamp has been even more aggressive. Something is driving them out and Gamarine is planning to find out what. This is where his wild hunt brought him and he fears that an even darker force is at work, that these summon husks are harbingers of that greater foe. I had a feeling you would answer the call. Let's head out. You look so peaceful! Stay low. We can't afford to be seen by the Nightmare Court. She didn't make it very far. I love it when they run. A shame it was such a short chase. Mm. Now, what to do with the body? Leave it. The swamp will take care of it. Wait! What's that over there? Looks like we'll have some fun after all. Get them! At least now we can offer that poor soul some measure of justice. So much wasted life. How could my own people fall so far? I don't understand it. The nightmare influence pushes dark and terrible creatures to emerge, blighted growths and grubs surround the outskirts of the swamp. Cleaning those won't be enough, you have to destroy the avatars of the blight, grubs and husks twisted by dark powers. And then the great jungle worm will break out of the ground. Periodically, Elite ritual husks will spawn and the worm will try to consume them to heal itself. If you destroy the summoned husks before the worm can eat them, you will receive the Don't Feed the Beast achievement. Killing this world boss will spawn a swamp chest which you are going to have to open for Jar of Worms work for the legendary Pistol Hope, the Swamp Protector Trophy for the legendary Staff Nevermore and Gummy Worms for the legendary Mies, the Moot. During all this, the Nightmare Court will try to capture the Warden's camp at the Phileas Thorpe and if you defend it, Captain Bren will sell you a Mortar Seed turret, just like Sard in Sandy Cove Beach. Along with Champion of the Sun, the battle for Witchmire Swamp is the second meta of Kaladin Forest. They warned me when I was first posted here that the swamp was full of nasty things. 
but the nightmare caught high leck and summoned husks are overwhelming. Then again, the swamp air is great for the complexion. Strangely, they didn't warn me that you were so cheerful. Halt! To me, we're stronger side by side. We are the ward that keeps this place safe. Stand strong. No! This cannot be! Leaving the swamp behind, at the border with Metrica province, we find the beautiful town of Karl, a peaceful place that proves Silvari's capacity to grow, adapt, and survive on their own terms, even far from the pale tree. Do other races dream? I heard some of them dream every night. I wonder what they dream about. Each other, the future, the past? Themselves, mostly, I think. Here's an idea. Let's knock on the humongous gate door, then hide and see what they do when they open up and no one's there. Please don't talk to me for the remainder of the shift. We are almost done with this map, but before we leave, don't forget to gather any bit of knowledge left. You'll need it where we're going. Swift Arrow will share with you a lesson in a hero point. Do you ever wish for something? A wave of crate or a horde of undead? Just to break the monotony? Have you ever faced a wave of crate or a horde of undead? No. Learn to savor the monotony. And so we say goodbye to beautiful Kaladin Forest. Two meta events, two cats, blue balls and many different cultures trying to make it through the day. Tell us your favorite bit on this map and give us a like if you learned at least one fun thing. And don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications, because next week we'll be catching up on some sleep. But after, we will continue our adventures in Tyria and we will start a whole new map. But until then, happy exploring!